most music locks us into uh, a predictive mode, a brain state where you are analyzing, so you're in the beta state, like we're speaking right now, where the brain's electrical pulsations are between, uh, let's say, th uh, 13 and uh, 30 cycles per second. So the alpha state is a little lower between 8 and 12 cycles. When you get deeper, you're into the theta state between uh, 4 and 7 cycles per second, and sleep is between 1 and 3. So when we're able to measure that, we found that most mu music keeps you locked in the beta state of typical uh, ordinary consciousness, and it locks you into the future, the predictive mode. And it's the exact opposite of mindfulness. If I would demonstrate right now by singing a little scale, the do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, and I don't finish that. You hear that note in your head. You will hold your breath waiting for me to sing that last note. And I coined the phrase, scalus interruptus. Well, what that does, it creates stress. And as a type A individual coming from New York, I had enough stress. I needed something that was not stressful. And in the 60s, a lot of us were looking for music to help us, you know, chill and mellow out. And there wasn't a lot of it. From Esalen and from the Bridge Mountain Foundation, uh, I went to graduate school and then uh, there was no work for a musician playing meditation music in 1970, 71. So I was a music teacher, as a music specialist. I went around to high schools and uh, I was a coach. When I was in grad school, uh, we were told about a, a physician from New York I am Dr. Irving Oyle, O-Y-L-E, the father of holistic medicine. No one knows about him now, but he wrote the first book, Healing in the Mind. He does sonar puncture and he's into all sorts of alternative things. I bring my reel-to-reel -reel recorder, set up in his waiting room when babies are crying and people are waiting. And uh, within about five minutes, everybody's quiet. Dr. Oyle comes out and says, what's going on here? Who are you? I'm the guy that has the interview with you. Is that your music? You go, yeah. It's quieting everybody. Come right in right now. So he became my mentor. A couple years later, when the first conference of spirituality and psychology and science, the mind can do anything, uh, was being held in, at UC Santa Cruz. He said, well, come on down and meet with us. Bam. So suddenly I'm in front of a thousand people and when I play my chakra balancing music in the first break, the audience is going, oh my gosh, Dr. V Virginia Satir is at Dr. Norman Shealy, Yuri Geller, major people who became the leaders in the human potential movement. And then people who were putting on their own conferences around the country would say, we are putting on a conference like that. We want to have you there.